What we're trying to do is give a chance for the American people to raise their voice together in opposition to this president. And that's exactly what's happened over the last week. And I think that his response tweeting about me shows that, in fact, we've struck a chord, we've struck a nerve, and that it upsets him. But the fact of the matter is, the American people have a right to raise their voice, have a need to raise their voice, and that's exactly what we're trying to enable. But, Tom, I want to ask you about this latest major development in the Mueller investigation. Why not wait and see who's indicted and what the outcome of these charges may be? Well, I think the Mueller investigation doesn't really change anything. It throws fuel onto a fire that's already burning and shows the kind of lawlessness this administration has exhibited from the very beginning. But the fact of the matter is, it's our opinion and it's my strong opinion that this president is a danger to the American people, that he is putting the health and safety of Americans at risk, and that, in fact, he is attacking the American people from his post at the White House on almost a daily basis. So we really can't wait for the investigation because he's already a danger and he's met the basis for impeachment. All right. So this ad, where did it air, Tom? Where do you think the president saw it? And do you think that you will convince viewers of President Trump's guilt? I think we've been putting this ad over the last week on a variety of channels around the country, and I believe that he saw it on Fox. But this ad really isn't about convincing Americans about the president's guilt. What this ad is an, is a request to Americans to join us in raising our voices together to demand that elected officials take a stand on impeachment. And what we're seeing is an incredible outpouring from the American people because this president scares them. They are incredibly anxious about what he's doing and the attacks that he's perpetrating against them. So we're seeing this ad isn't about convincing anybody. It's really about trying to give Americans an action they can take together to raise their voice to say, really, what's going on here is absolutely unacceptable and has to stop. Tom, do you have concerns at all that this will be counterintuitive to what you're saying there and that will actually just mobilize and solidify Donald Trump's base even further? Well, Alex, the way that we see this is not through a tactical, political lens of trying to figure out exactly what's going to happen. What we're trying to do here is to tell the truth. We're trying to give Americans a chance to tell a very basic truth that I think everybody really knows. I think all those elected officials in Washington who won't say a darn word about it know for, know for a fact that we're telling the truth. So we're not really trying to calculate politically what this is going to mean. What we're trying to do is the right thing, give Americans a chance to speak up together and not worry about the results, because we believe that if we do the right thing as a people, that's what we've done in the past. We haven't asked what are the results going to be. We've tried to focus on really just doing the right thing and trying to accomplish good things together as a country. That's the history of America, and that's what we think we're doing. But how loudly will this be heard? Because, as you know, Tom, the new report showing the Republican National Committee has raised a record setting $100 million this year. There's another report projecting that political ad spending over this next year during the midterms is going to be in the billions. So, how does your $10 million campaign, while not insignificant, how is it going to hold up to that? I just don't think this is about money, Alex. The fact of the matter is, everything you're talking about is the money they're going to spend, the money they've raised. What we're trying to say is, the greatest power in the United States is the voice and the will of the American people. If the money from right-wing ideologues and people who really want tax cut for the rich is going to outweigh the values and the hearts and minds of the American people, then we have come to a terrible place. And that is exactly the point we're trying to make, is that it is the voice and will of the American people that is supposed to run the United States of America, not the dollars of the richest Americans. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.